Welcome back, everyone, to Morning Line on this Tuesday. It's uh, the festive music, everything. We're talking to Ann Chapman, Holiday Lights Contest, uh, and the winners, the finalists. We're showing you the video. The champion this year, the Lawson family. Chris is with us this morning. Charlie Woodward shot all the fantastic pieces on these. And uh, the next one we're going to show is another finalist, and uh, this is the uh, the Swan family. Yeah, they're over by Belmont. Belmont, okay. And uh, they did not know they were being interviewed. <laughs> well... <laughs> That's clearly a part of what we do, and I called, and I got a hold of Josh on the phone, and I said, hey, I'm going to come by and do a little interview for you for the piece, and he said, fine, great, all aboard, and I got there, and uh, they uh, they didn't realize it was a TV you know, Sometimes interview. people are like that. They don't realize, and then they get the bet, but they were good sports. Well, Kinda. actually, it took about 45 minutes to convince them to... In the rain to convince them. Oh, it was raining. Yeah, it was raining. Well, Come out and do the TV Some interview. people are just shy, but they yeah, should be proud yeah, of their home. They should be proud of their home. And this is kind of like what we ended up with. Was right. the I'm story sure. that we run now. It'll be good. Let's have a look. This is the Swan family home out in the Belmont area, did you say? They're about Belmont University. Gotcha. Let's have a look. Our house was built in the 20s or 30s. Oh, I found this right on the top and say, hey. We're going with this sort of retro theme. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all along. It's all him. He basically is like Clark Griswold. Yeah, I mean, we've watched the movie many, many times, and the goal is to get 250,000 lights like they have, but we're not quite there yet. It started with the bushes. Bushes, trees, the blow molds. The big deal this year was the roof. It's 30 feet up, which is a little scary. I love the lights, but I personally would never do it myself. About three drinks and it's okay, but any more than that is dangerous. I got another ladder and helped circle it around and told him how stupid he was he was being for climbing so far up the ladder. And you go up a step at a time and you hope it doesn't fall. Basically, just kind of stay inside and hope for the best. <laughs> And hope he doesn't break a leg. You have certain people making faces at you in windows while you're trying to get it done without falling. I don't think I'd ever seen the movie Christmas Vacation when I first met him, and um, I quickly did. She was nervous, I guess. I realized there was something, and he knew every word of the movie. But we get a little bit more every year and just try to step it up. I knew that there might be something happening. To keep costs down, I, I just plug it into the neighbors. I run a green extension cord and, and no one notices. So that helps a lot on the bills. This is the first year he's actually made it that far up on the roof. They'll stay up there until all the bulbs die out, so get used to it. I was really nervous, but he didn't die, so. Bells on battery. So that's what we really do is we plan next year while we put this year up. These are vintage blow molds. A hat, a scarf, and knitting. We got most of them at the flea market. Next year's going to be big. You'll be back. He basically is like Clark Griswold. One horse open, say, hey. Boy, that, that's awesome. She, she's a doll. And you know, if I did a house, I think I'd have his attitude. They had fun, and that's a beautiful yeah. home. Vintage, vintage. Now, Tudor style. Tudor style, and, and, but the, the vintage molds, she said. You see a lot of the inflatables, some of the newer right. ones that are fun with right. Santa and all this, but these are vintage. You know what she's, they're talking about? They go to yeah. the flea market and find some of them. These are actually really older. They're they made to look old. You know? No, they're old. They're real. These are like some of them are antiques, then, right. I would imagine. Right. And uh, I, the best part is that she pretty well stays in the house and closes her eyes. <laughs> he climbs the trees. Hope she doesn't hear a thump outside. Right. <laughs> He's climbing the trees to put those lights up. He doesn't, I, I told him he might want to invest a in ladder. a good sized ladder. Yeah. But, you know, that was just he'll take it under advisement, I guess. He said, two, I guess I remember, I've seen Christmas Vacation, I love it. Uh, 250,000 lights. Now, what's a typical, like, how many lights in yours? And we'll show that at the end of the mm. show. But you, can you guess? I know. I know I got, he says them. I have 100,000, but I think. I, I think it's in between 50. 50, 50 yeah, what's the most you've ever seen in a house in the 21 years? Are they still getting more? But so you, you don't know what? More doesn't necessarily mean better. I know right. that. So, but uh, what no, do you see? I, there's there's a couple of homes that are up in the 250 thousand range wow, that I've had over the lights. years, and he's wrong. He's he's wrong. <laughs> he's got well over a hundred thousand. Hundred. He's seen Easy. so many. He probably. Ha Easy. How long does it take you to put it up? You start putting it up around Thanksgiving before Thanksgiving. I uh, usually start the whole month uh, of November. This year got a little late start because we have a newborn, uh -huh. and so uh, it was a big crunch right after Thanksgiving. To had a lot of help from my brother-in-law from Chicago. He flew in for the Thanksgiving holiday. Cool. Put him to work. My other brother-in-law on my wife's side, he, he helped me a lot, and uh, my dad was there, too. How cool is it for all of them to know you guys won? Oh, they love it. I mean, they is that, it. you get a plaque, don't you? Yeah. 
You get black. I mean, that is pretty neat. I mean, you see some of the winners in the past. They're spectacular. You've done, I mean, again, stick around because his piece will be the last one to air. But yeah, when they found out, I mean, I'm guessing your brother and Chicago's like, what? We won for all of Nashville? Are you kidding me? And, and now, this year, you added, you know, how many? Yeah, ten, I added 10,000. I know for sure. You added 10,000 over last year's <laughs> yeah. lights. Yeah. Is this your first child? Or do you have uh, That's my second, second child. How old's your other one? Three. Three. Because as they get older, if you stick with this, I, I, like that little girl there, it's what an angel. And yeah, she's a you doll. can tell she enjoys it. And yeah. mm -hmm. It'll be fun for them to that's see right. mom and dad fixing up the house. Mm -hmm. I just, all right, that's great. Let's see. We're going to go to the next one. Okay, this one is the Robertson family. Um, Charlie, and where, where are they at? We've hit Antioch, well, Belmont. The Robertsons are in Donaldson. Okay. In fact, uh, he's he's got a title for his home that we'll hear during the piece, you know, about Donaldson, about, about his home. About his home. And uh, he and his wife, I think they've been de decorating their home basically for about 18 or 19 years. And have like they that. entered in the past? And they've they entered some, but I mean, this is this is something that just it, again grew over time. The unique thing about this home is that if you go over to see it. You can come in on the street, and the street, because of geography, the home is actually below you. Okay. So when you drive up, you're looking, you're down. looking down at it, nice. which is a unique vision sure. of, of, of all the homes this year that no one else has a home where you actually look down on yeah. it, and you can kind of see the whole home. Oh, did they take that into account when, when they were decorating, up. you think, knowing that vantage oh, point? Well, we'll find out. Okay, and uh, I want to say again, folks, after you watch all of this, if you want to find out where all these homes are, go to our website, mm -hmm. channel5.com, and the uh, locations are all there. And it, I tell you, it's a fun night to spend. Just hop in the car and hit them all. And the truth is, in a lot of these neighborhoods, other homes are all lit up too. They may not yeah. have been finalists, but they look spectacular. And right. so you have a, that's just a fun, we do that every every year. We right. go we driving around, it's fun. All right, let's have a look now at the Robertson family home in Donaldson. Every bush all the way around the house. Maybe Tim might not have thought it needed to go all the way around the house. Every gutter all the way around the house. I thought it needed to, to so everyone in every angle could see it. Uh, do something new every year. You cannot buy that star anywhere. I built that from an old tripod from a telescope with a curtain rod. If you put too many lights together in a row, it'll blow a circuit, so you have to be careful. So I put in, under the house, I ran a circuit just for Christmas lights. I've got three totes of lights just for the bushes, another tote for the gutter lights. Thousands of lights I have around my house right now. I couldn't even begin to think. <laughs> in the corner lot that we have, the uh, side street is about 8 to 10 feet higher than the house. You are looking down at our yard. The house being on the corner, we had to do all the way around the house to make it look right. It's a beautiful scene that you can see and look out over the house. You can see all the lights from up there. And our neighbors that set up higher, they tell us all the time, they, they, we can't wait for your Christmas lights to come on. And they, they do. They, they enjoy sitting at the windows and watching them, too. We drive it. We park it. We sit there and look. We're not ashamed to say we like to look at it, too. I do something new every year, something new and different. I like to look good from every angle. I looked at them. I said, well, that one's not tight enough. You need to stretch those a little tighter. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be true. I do. I do. I do send him back up there a few times. She said fix, and I fixed. <laughs> I don't mind going on the roof. I think it's kind of fun. The Christmas light repair box. This box has seen several years, and you can tell it it is worn. Everybody needs one of these little tools. You can check your fuse up here at the top. You can check your lights. The tool is necessary. Small pair of needle nose pliers. You don't want to hurt your hand pulling the bulbs out. All my lights and all are in my kit, so that's my box. We're not out of control yet. <laughs> the whole yard won't be the Griswolds. It just looks traditional. It's festive, and my electric bill just spins and spins and spins. But for one month, that's okay. It's the Opera Lane Hotel of Donaldson. People come by and tell me that it looks just like Opera Lane Hotel. That's a compliment. That is a compliment. That is so cool. That one is probably one of the few homes that has the decorations in the backyard. Because you see it from up high. Most, like, yeah. I don't know if yours is in the backyard, but I mean, if you can't see it, why put it there, right? Right. True. Right. Yeah. But but other homeowners, they do sometimes also do that as well. Do decorate the backyard. Okay. The unique thing about his home is that you can see the front and the back at the same time. Right. Right. Like, uh, other finalists, I've had the backyard, and you'd actually have to drive around the block to see the backyard. But this home, when you pull up on it and you're looking down on it, you could see everything. It's just the way the home is situated on the lot. Okay. So uh, that's why it works out that way. But that's, that was beautiful again, now that, that home, I mean, um, and he keeps his decorations pretty close to the house. Uh, there's a lot of yard, you know, it's set off. But 
to put lights all the way around the house like that. I mean, you know, it's 2,000 lights here, 2,000 mm -hmm. lights there. Before you know it, you're up. You, yeah. You've got a ton of lights on your house without really even thinking about it. I yeah. mean, that's the thing is they're putting these lights up. They're putting strands of lights up and, you know, 2,000 here and 2,000 there. And pretty soon you're talking about 30, 40, 50,000 lights. Sometimes do they realize that they're, they've gone around and they're short? They have to go buy some? Oh, yeah. To fill it out. And, oh, of yeah, course, yeah. then you're buying it because here's one of his secrets, and most of us do this. You go and really load up on the stuff right after Christmas because that's when it's all on sale. Mm -hmm. yeah. But sometimes if you're a couple strands short before Christmas, they're a little more expensive. Yeah, but you got to buy it. you got to buy it. Yeah. short. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's take a break on that note. When we come back, two things. First of all, you saw the fellow there, and I love that element of showing his toolbox. Oh, yeah. You saw him holding the gun. I didn't even know about that. We're going to let these guys explain how that gun can help all of us with our Christmas lights. Pretty darn interesting. And then we come back, too. We'll hear from the uh, Richardson family. What neighborhood are they in? Charlie, do you uh, know? they're down on Old Hickory, uh, 65 in Old Hickory, like south in the Brentwood area. South. Gotcha. We'll take a break and be back with that and more right after this.